Hey gamers, Tony here from the Hapal Gaming Zone, official gaming channel of Hapal Computer Works, and I'm back with the second and final video in our series on the Sapphire Edge HD4 Mini PC. If you click on this annotation, you'll be able to watch my full review of this product. But in the second and final video, the one we're doing right now, we're going to talk about how does the Edge HD4 Mini PC play along with the Hapog HD PVR2, the best capture device in the market today. So a lot of gamers have written in and they've said to me, hey Tony, how do I capture and edit right in my living room? So a lot of gamers will have their entire gaming set up in their living room, but their computer's off in another room, and they're looking for some sort of accessory or a really long USB cable to run clear to the other room so they can still capture with the HD PVR2 to their computer, and it's just kind of a big setup that way. Well, I believe the Sapphire Edge HD4 may be the solution, and that's what we're going to test in this video today. We're going to say, what if this computer was sitting right beside your TV with all your gaming stuff? Your USB cable was right there hooked up to it. Is this PC powerful enough to capture footage from the HD PVR2 and do some basic editing on it? We're going to answer those questions today. So we're going to go ahead and show you how to hook this up to your HD PVR2 and see if these two devices play nice together for capturing right in your living room. Okay, so we have our setup here. This is some normal things a gamer might have in their living room. Let's say a Nintendo Wii. And remember, we're just using the Wii here as an example. This will work with any device that you normally capture with your HD PVR2. So say we want to capture some Wii footage in our living room and our desktop computers in the other room. And so we have the Sapphire Edge HD4 Mini PC as a replacement right next to our television here. And so here's how the hookup's going to look. We have our Nintendo Wii signal going out through HDMI and in to the HD PVR2 Gaming Edition. Then we have the video signal passing through going out of the HD PVR2 Gaming Edition and into our television for no delay pass through. Then we also have the power cable hooked up to the HD PVR2, plugged into the wall obviously. And then the last cable is the data cable for the HD PVR2, the footage that's actually being captured going out of the HD PVR2 via USB and into the Sapphire Edge HD4 mini PC. Now that's our setup. It's very basic and very simple. Let's go ahead and test it out and see how it works with some real live action footage. We're going to be taking a look at DC Heroes 2 um, Lego Batman here on the Nintendo Wii U. Alright gamers, well I have the video camera filming my TV and I apologize for the angle again but I wanted you to be able to see on the left hand side the lights over there, that's the uh, Sapphire Edge HD4 mini PC on top of the HD PVR2 and as you can see on my TV screen here I have the uh, Sapphire Edge running directly into the TV screen and you can see the Wii U um, footage piping through the HD PVR2 feeding through USB into the Sapphire Edge HD4 uh, mini PC. I'm actually going to fire up a um, new Batman game here on the Wii U. As you can see it firing up there and I'm going to go ahead and hit capture. We'll blank out for one second and then go back to um, capturing footage. It is capturing in 1920 uh, by 1080. So 1080p at a constant bit rate of 14 megabytes per second. And I'm going to go ahead and switch over. As you can see, it can have all this on one TV. I'm going to switch over to the Wii U footage piping through uh, with the no delay pass through. There you can see the actual footage of the Batman game, DC Comics logo piping through. On the left hand side you're going to see the green light which is the HD PVR2 capturing. On top of that is the Sapphire Edge HD4 mini PC. You can see it uh, working away there as well. And we have Lego Batman 2 DC Super Heroes. I'm going to go right into a new game.
So you can see everything is running perfectly with the no delay pass through. So let's go ahead and play back this uh, little bit of footage that we've recorded here. We're going to go back to the Sapphire Edge uh, piping through on the TV. We're going to go ahead and hit stop and this is the video file that you will see being played back unedited in full 1080p. You can actually um, use this uh, software that comes free with the HD PVR2 to edit your video as well. Cut, splice, add in effects, transitions, all things like that right there. So the Edge is capable of doing that. But here's the unedited video in full 1080p HD captured using the Hapog HD PVR2 and the Sapphire Edge HD4 Mini PC. Well gamers, as you can see, the Sapphire Edge HD4 Mini PC and the Hapog HD PVR2 work great together, especially if you're looking for that solution in your living room where you can capture and edit all with one single PC using your favorite consoles, your iPad, whatever you're capturing with your HD PVR2, you can actually capture it right there in your living room on the Edge HD4 Mini PC, edit it, and get it published to YouTube so you can get your videos out there quicker. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Please ask any questions you may have in the comments below. This has been Tony from the Hapal Gaming Zone official gaming channel of Hapal Computer Works. Make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe to this video. And uh, we'll see you next time.